That doesn't sound great. <laughs> Okay, what message or advice can you give to people at their 20s? Advice? I need that too because I'm in my 20s. <laughs> I think one of my biggest advice just for my peers in general is to not overthink everything. Especially like there are a lot of detours in life so we should be open to that I think. Because I, I think our generation is like really pressured, right? Yeah. How about you, Nina? Uh, give me that camera. <laughs> I've been learning this because I just started working and I want to make sure that I'm on the right path. So the advice I would give is to always inquire of the Lord. Even in like the smallest decisions that you will make, you will never go wrong with that. What's your biggest what if? Biggest what if? What does that mean again? Regret? Parang ganun. Hindi naman siguro regret, pero like, what if napunta ako sa field na to? I have something for you. What if you pursued psychology? Yeah, probably if I pursued psychology, maybe, and studied abroad. That was the original plan. But I don't really regret what direction I chose. So that's probably a big what if, but I live with no regrets. <laughs> Let me answer another question personally. How do you organize your time as an independent artist? How, how do you do that? I've really seen that my routine changes every now and then, but the one that has stuck with me for the past year or so has been doing my weekly routine. And this is where I sit down, usually in a coffee shop, every week, and I look back on the highlights of the past week, progress I've made, problems I've encountered, and what points for improvement I can do moving forward. And speaking of priorities, believe it or not, being an indie artist is not even my top three. Being a Christian more than being an artist is actually more important for me, so I really make sure to take my time to study the word, to live it out, experience life, steward my relationships and all of that because I truly believe that the songs only really magnify something more important. So I'm not focused on the music as much as I am on 
that, if that makes sense. Next question is, what's your next project? Also related, when is the album coming out? So the next project that I'll be putting out, but is the current project that I'm working on, is my album Soul Talk. And when it's coming out, I'm sorry, I'm just really not sure yet. But what's sure is that I will start releasing singles from the album this year. And speaking of Soul Talk, the next clip you're gonna see is me working on one of the songs. So just keep it a secret, but let's get back to the vlog. <laughs> I keep getting the hey. music video. Oh. <laughs> Sunday. It's always nice to start your day early. I feel like there's more I can do in a day. It's either that or I'm overcommitted. This morning I did a task that was a little bit overdue. I put up the announcement for our upcoming open mic night in our Discord server. It's always exciting to have these events with people, like with Christian creatives all over the world. We're aiming on having these open mic nights, also like collab challenges. We're thinking of doing that quarterly, so every third, sixth, ninth. 12th month of the year. And it's always exciting. We also have volunteers on board. They absolutely make the job so much easier. I remember when I started off doing that stuff with Nina and it's just the two of us planning, announcing, preparing everything for the events and it was always such a rush really because we would just prepare everything in like a short span of time. But enough of that. Right now I'm on my way to church so I'll catch you there. this last question, I wanted to answer it directly. The question goes, what does it really mean to believe in Jesus? Actually, this is a very important question. And for me, to believe in Jesus is to take hold of his word, to believe what he says, not just intellectually, but with your entire soul. And this will be evident when life gets hard and when temptations come. To believe in him is to confess, which is another word for like agreeing with the fact that you are a helpless sinner who is bound for hell without the grace of God. When you really believe in Jesus, you are going to have unshakable peace. And this peace is not going to come from your circumstance, your riches, your wealth, your achievements. But instead, your peace is going to come from the fact that Jesus has actually nailed your sins to the cross with him. And because of that, you are made right with God. Simply put, believing in Jesus is to love him with your entire soul and to trust him for the rest of your life. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope that you stay in touch. The best ways to do that are to join my newsletter and our Discord server, The Salt Studio. I'm also very happy to say that the album is going well and I'm so excited to share the songs with you guys soon. But until then, please let me know if you want more behind the scenes kind of vlog type videos like this one. Or if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them in a future video. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Remember to use what you have and don't forget to talk to God today.